But when we were moving out and preaching the gospel, we could meet children facing the same problem I had when I was still young, suffering, mistreated, very poor. They have no parental care at all. Then one time the Lord spoke with me that I should start a ministry and I call it parental care because in me I felt I should give out the love of a parent and the, the love which I lacked, the love which I was not given, I should give it out. So we started by bringing children in our home in Mbalala and uh, we were just in one single room and I had three children by that time. Then I met two children who were suffering. Then I brought them to my home and we started sharing that single room which I was renting and uh, with those children. Then I ended, I went out and I met other two children. Then I brought them. Children could sleep and some put their legs under our bed. And uh, that's how it was. And my neighbors could think maybe I'm crazy. Why should I bring all those children in my home? But for us, we were very happy in our home. We were sharing the little we have with those children. And then we kept on praying and giving that parental love to those children. Then eventually, we started praying for a bigger thing. That's when we got a lady who came to visit us from UK. And when she came to visit me, she found me in that tiny house. With, I had by that time nine children I'm looking after. Then we were just in a small room. Then when she came and saw where we were sleeping and the children I was looking at, she cried tears. Then she said, Pastor, let us believe God to give you a house. And by that time we had planted churches in the village where I took her to visit. She went back and she collected some money and I, I bought a house in Balala, which was bigger. It had three bedrooms, a, a garage and a a sitting room and then that was a very big opportunity for me to bring in more children. We brought in more children and I ended up adopting 26 children in my home plus the five I have. So that became 31 children and some people could come at my home. One of the pastors was just criticizing me and went out telling the other pastors that when you go to pastors Amy's house it's like a refugee camp because there are a lot of children. But for us, we lived joyfully with our children and uh, we could give them parental love because we felt that w that is the only thing we can give out. We lacked parental love, but we need to give parental love to these children. Then we continued. Then that's when one time I was praying and I could not bring more children because we are too full in our house. Then the vision grown bigger. That's when I said, what can we do now? We prayed with my wife and the Lord spoke with us to sell that very house we have and we build a school where we can put the orphans and the abandoned children who are suffering and the children who are from very poor families and also the children of village pastors so that we can bring them and we give them education, we give them basic needs and we also give them love. And on top of that, we need them to know Jesus, to know the love of God. By giving them this parental love, it will be showing them how God loves them. So we sold our house, and we started renting, and then we started constructing the school, and we brought more children. As I speak now, we are looking after 250 children in Mbalala school and uh, they are happy as you can see by just if through that humble beginning and our major thing is to love them to show them parental love they don't have all the basic needs they need but one thing i know and which i can tell you they are happy and they are so contented because i found one thing that once a child is convinced that is loved and is cared for, that child will be contented with the whatever small that child has because you know that I'm cared for. Even it is better than giving them a lot of things 
when they know that they are not cared for. So that's what we are offering. But we thank God for what God has done because through that process we didn't know the next step. For us we were just doing the work which God gave us to do, but we didn't know that he's going to be faithful to this much to bring more friends, to bring more people who are having the same heart to work alongside with us. But this time we are seeing many friends, many people who have come alongside with us. We have the same goal, we have the same heart, and we are doing the same thing. And sometimes I cry my tears when I see all these people coming together, when I see you, when I see Epa, when I see other friends in the U.S. and other corners of the world who are touched, who can sacrifice and give what they have so that this ministry can keep on going. Because when I was beginning this, I didn't know that it would be like what I'm seeing now. I just give all the glory to God. Thank you very much.